Value Award three years running. Search Suncorp Home Insurance today. Fruity beer, lager beer, craft beer, zero alk beer. Ooh, bubbles. Pale ale, brown ale. Seltzer it is. Whatever floats your boots. That's refreshingly BWS. Tonight, knife terror, a radicalised teen shot dead by police after a car park stabbing attack. Teens in a stolen use. The News, Monday at 6. Since the invention of the motor car, petrol stations have been an essential service. Once, you didn't even need to get out to fill up. But with the growing popularity of electric vehicles, could they soon reach the end of the road? Sharon Gadella reports. Now say good morning to the customer, adding, may I fill your tank? Full service on the forecourt, a training film for Ampol driveway attendants. Nine out of ten customers need more than petrol to keep their cars in safe driving condition. Ampol was founded in 1936. It built a Brisbane refinery in the 60s. And by the early 70s, servos were everywhere, often within metres of each other. In Brisbane, there was one for every 200 cars. In the main run, it must be the oil company's fault that they're overbuilding. It didn't stop the ACTU expanding its solo brand into Queensland. There is only one winner, and the winner is the motorist. That same year, innovation at the Bowser, the shell at Kedron, Brisbane's first to go self-serve. After you have obtained your petrol, please report to the cashier. In the 90s, we'd start to get the lead out. And take the simple step from super to unleaded. 1997 would turbocharge competition. Woolies opening its first Queensland outlet. Spend $30 on groceries, get a discount. Drivers were laughing. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Another two cents off per litre. Coles wouldn't enter the fray until 2004, buying hundreds of shell outlets to pump up its bottom line. But who was watching out for the consumer? Brisbane's first fuel track website was launched in 2000. Volunteers constantly price checking 100 servos. If no more than providing an average across Brisbane, you can use that figure and determine whether you're paying too much. Today, high petrol prices are convincing more drivers to go electric. EV sales across the country doubled last year. In Queensland, more than 8% of new cars were electric, partly thanks to Australia's most generous rebate scheme. Overall, numbers remain small, but could they spell the end of the servo? The service station's days are numbered in their current form. This could be the biggest transition the service station industry has seen. Do I think they'll come out the other side? I absolutely do, but they'll be in a different form. Let's fill up on some weather now and go back to Laura.